This is Wojak. If Wojak understood the rich history behind Bitcoin and other blockchains, he would make better decisions and hodl his coins. First, you need to understand the crypto in cryptocurrency. Cryptography is the practice of sending secure messages in the presence of your enemies, without letting them hear you. This is also known as public key encryption, or pretty good privacy. Let's roll back the clock a hundred years. Germany is depressed after World War I. The Weimar Republic printed lots of money, but that caused hyperinflation. A decade later, World War II begins and Germany goes to war. They used an analog device called the Enigma machine to encrypt and decrypt secret messages. Here's how the Enigma machine worked. You'd press letters on the machine and three rotors would cause different letters to light up on the lamp board. You'd write down the letters from the lamp board and that was the encrypted message. The generals would broadcast the scrambled letters as Morse code and only other generals with an Enigma machine and knowledge of the rotor positions would be able to decrypt it. It wasn't long before the United Nations intercepted the schematics of the machine and reverse engineered the encryption method. Germany was using a form of encryption called symmetric encryption. Symmetric encryption requires one private key to encrypt and decrypt communications. The vulnerability with this style of encryption is that all of the generals have a copy of the private key. If one of them defects or is captured, private communication is compromised for all of them. Before computers were invented, we didn't have the ability to quickly perform complex one-way encryption algorithms. This is where digital processes can help us. In 1977, MIT colleagues R. L. Rivest, A. Shamir and L. Edelman proposed a method for encryption and decryption that didn't require multiple parties to share a secret key. RSA asymmetric encryption means that after we create a private key, we can then derive a public key from it. The two keys share a mathematical relationship that allows the public key to prove the existence of the private key without revealing it. You might think that's impossible, but it's really just some fancy math with prime numbers and disposable exponents. RSA uses a one-way function that is easy to compute but finding a function that reverses it is computationally nope. infeasible. There's not enough time or computing power in the known universe to perform that kind of computation. Let's discuss a modern example of using asymmetric encryption to protect communications. Imagine that Wojak wants to buy mushrooms from Pepe, but the state will prosecute them if the plans are discovered. Wojak generates a private key and a public key. Pepe generates a private key and a public key. Wojak and Pepe exchange public keys. Wojak types up his message and uses Pepe's public key to encrypt a message. He sends the ciphertext to Pepe. The state makes a copy of the encrypted message. Pepe decrypts the ciphertext with his private key. The state has a copy of the public keys and the ciphertext. It can't decrypt the ciphertext. Nope. All it can do with the public key is encrypt messages. Bitcoin's first claim to fame was becoming the currency of the dark web and Silk Road. Anonymous merchants using PGP encryption to communicate in a low-trust environment found Bitcoin easy to understand because they were already accustomed to asymmetric encryption. This was just 10 years ago. At the time, Bitcoin was only worth about $13. The mainstream media claimed that Bitcoin was only good for illicit activities, 
but it wasn't long until civilized society realized that Bitcoin was designed to protect them from the banksters. Today, you've learned about the crypto in cryptocurrency. Let's recap. Hyperinflation and symmetric encryption were big problems for Germany in the 20th century. RSA asymmetric encryption allows you to create a public key from a private key. Civilians can use asymmetric encryption to protect their money and their communications. Keep in mind that RSA, PGP and public key encryption are all similar forms of asymmetric encryption. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and share this video with a friend who doesn't understand the crypto in cryptocurrency.